Hey and welcome to my Hostinger WordPress tutorial. In this video, I'll go through setting up an account, show you how to install WordPress on Hostinger, and even give you tips on managing your new website. Let's begin by getting a Hostinger plan. If you don't have one, that is. If you do, you can skip to the next section. I'm going to be brief here since Hostinger has truly cheap web hosting WordPress plans. And in general, it has a straightforward registration process. Hostinger offers the best value for your money in the market, especially for small or medium projects you'll manage alone. And it's not just cheap hosting. Hostinger has a similar performance to other top but expensive competitors. In my opinion, it's the best WordPress hosting provider if you're not a professional. The most beginner-friendly type of hosting is shared hosting, so I would recommend going with the single shared plan. It has enough resources and comes with a free SSL certificate, that little lock near your domain name basically. If you want to host more sites, I recommend choosing the premium plan. It's only a few bucks more, but it allows you to have 100 sites. There are also Hostinger WordPress plans, but during my testing, I didn't notice a big difference in either performance or features offered. So, both options will be great and they have the same price, so, you know. But hold on! You can make Hostinger's prices even better if you use our discount deal in the description below. Save some cash and keep this type of content alive. Once you've picked your plan, choose a billing period and pay. Hostinger is the cheapest with the longest period selected, but even the yearly plan has decent pricing if you can't. Oh, and you can also pay by using cryptocurrencies, so that's one way to use them to actually get something useful. Okay, so we have a plan with Hostinger. What's next? Well, if you followed this tutorial from the start, you'd need to go through a quick first setup. There are two similar versions of the Hostinger setup, one that you can call at any time and one for your first time registration. While they are very similar, there are a few differences. The main one is that you must fill in your personal information and select your server location. Hostinger has servers in four different continents, including Asia, North America, and Europe. This helps with loading times immensely. If you know where most of your audience is, Simply pick a server closest to them. Information still needs to travel, so the shorter the distance, the faster your site will be. Here we are at the main HPanel window. To install a new WordPress site, click Websites and this big plus right here. You'll get two options, create a new website or move your existing one here. And on a bit of a side note, I have transferred a few of my WordPress websites to Hostinger and it was a very smooth process every time. But we're here to create something new, so click Create a new website. Next, you'll get two more choices. Either go with the newly added Hostinger Website Builder or a standard WordPress installation. Hostinger Web Builder is quite a straightforward and modern website builder. Nothing too impressive, but it works great for small e-commerce or portfolios. If you don't want to use WordPress, you madman, I highly recommend trying Hostinger's Web Builder. Hey, it's even included in all plans. For our case, we can go with a simple WordPress install. Then fill in the administrator name and password. Hostinger allows you to quickly log into your WordPress administrator dashboard without entering your logins every time. However, I would recommend coming up with a strong password and storing it somewhere safe. This way, you can log in both ways and won't be locked out if the quick way doesn't work for some reason. Next up is the plugin page. You can add some of the most popular plugins to your WordPress straight away. You might want to tick some of them based on the website you're going to be building. I usually leave everything unselected except Google Site Kit. Okay. So we have a WordPress theme selection. Hostinger allows you to start your website with a modern looking template already applied. You can preview how the full theme would look and you can get more with this button down below. While not every theme here is the same quality and others can feel very similar, in general you can find truly modern and sleek looking designs. 
If you found a design you like here, great, just select it. If you want to install a default WordPress website, go to the very bottom and click the skip button. Then we need to select or buy a domain. I like that you can buy a domain name at the installation stage. It can save time in some situations. Okay, to get back to this part of my WordPress tutorial, select the domain and the installation process should start. So just grab a cup of coffee and I'm joking, of course, this will only take a few seconds. If you still don't have a hosting or plan or want to get it for a friend, I've left the most up-to-date discount deals in the description below. So let's install WordPress in Hostinger subdomains. First, click Manage near your domain name in the main Hostinger dashboard. You should see the main controls of your HPanel. While I can't say that the HPanel is the most user-friendly dashboard out there, I do have to admit that they keep improving over time and you should be able to do even more complex tasks with ease. Okay, so scroll down, click Websites and the Auto Installer. A new dashboard page will appear. On it, the first thing you will see is your current installations of WordPress CMS in this specific hosting account. I already have a few of them. If you scroll a bit lower, you'll find the main four CMS choices that Hostinger offers. You can add many different CMSs here, but we're focusing on WordPress, so select it. The next step on WordPress Hostinger installation, on the newly appeared page, enter the name of a website you want to create, type in your email address, and come up with a username and a strong password. Now, click the Advanced tab below. Here, you can customize your database creation, and of course, we could add our subdomain here. Type it in, and then we can click Next. On the following page of this WordPress setup, Hostinger automatically selects the newest versions. So technically, you don't need to change anything here. The only thing you might want to change is the language you want your WordPress installation to use. Lastly, press the Install button and wait a few seconds. Here you go! You can click here to get to your WordPress dashboard. Before we close this Hostinger's WordPress tutorial for beginners, if this tutorial helped you, how about liking this video and subscribing to our channel? And that's all I wanted to cover in this video. By now, you should know how to install WordPress on Hostinger and how to use this provider optimally. Hostinger is one of the most affordable and beginner-friendly shared hosting providers and might just be the best hosting for WordPress. Highly recommended for small, medium projects. Okay, do you have any questions about Hostinger for WordPress? Or want a different Hostinger tutorial? Leave a comment down below. You can find more videos like this on the screen to learn even more. Thanks for watching and see you later.